Hold on. Hello? Oh, I can't really hear you. Let me just fold open my phone so I, I can hear you more. Ah, uh, there we go. What are you saying? Alright, fam, I got you. I got you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look what came in the mail today. The Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now I'm super excited to unbox this one, guys. You know I'm blacked out. I'm in the I'm in the fit for the device right here. And this is like one of the most hyped up phones of 2020. Something that like it's just so innovative, you know what I'm saying? So I'm super excited to see what it looks like. I didn't get to unbox the other one. This is the most like think this yeah, this is the most expensive phone I'll ever unbox on this channel. And I'll have to be honest with you guys, I don't think I could afford to keep it. But at least we have it in store for like two weeks and then I have to return it. But it is what it is. I'm super excited to see what we get inside. First up first, you know, we have the unboxing knife. The handy dandy Siobhan unboxing knife. We have four corners. Let's go. Boom. First one done. Oh, it's actually two stickers. Just two stickers. They didn't want to stress us out this time. So yeah, this is the Z Fold 2. And I don't think I've said that enough. So I had to tell you guys again, but let's go ahead and open this thing. You could already see that little nice butterfly effect that we have on the box right here. It's crazy. So let's go. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh man. Now that's sick. That's a sick unboxing. Look at that. It's like you're folding it already without even touching the phone. Now this is saying that we could change the shape of the future, you know? And of course it's in French. So this is the new Galaxy Z Fold 2 again. I had to say it again just in case you guys didn't hear it the first time. Please don't be the phone. Is it the phone? Oh yeah, it's the phone. This is the phone, right? Is this the phone? Oh yes, it's the phone. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it. Ugh, put it to the side, I don't wanna see it. All right, let's see what we get inside here. So this is the pamphlet. I don't think it's nothing too special in here. What's this? <laughs> they're giving me the L? That's how they're coming? So I have a SIM ejector tool right here. That's all on this paper. It's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Let's look inside some more. Have some other Premier Service papers. We got the charger, the charging brick, USB type C, of course, you know, the vibes fast charger. You won't see this in an iPhone box though. No, no, no. I'm sorry. iPhone might start the new trend though. We also have the cable inside here. This is a weird mechanism. Very cheap. In my opinion, if, if I'm being honest, it feels very cheap for a $2,000 phone. That feels very cheap. So we have the chargers, all that stuff change the shape of the future and boom <laughs> this is insane bro it feels like a mini ipad like i can see myself using this thing the black mm, that black hits different look at that look at the black on this thing all right guys moment of silence we're ripping the plastic all right get your headphones let's go You hear that? Yeah, I know. I know. Let me smell it. Smell this. Mm. Smells like money. Smells like money. All right. So all the plastic to the side. It's time to get dirty. It's time to put our fingerprints onto the device. Oh, it's cold to the touch. That nice Canadian weather. And look at this thing, man. It's crazy. I haven't even opened it yet, and it's just so crazy to me. Let's take another look at that thing. Our first fold. This is something else. This device is definitely something else, man. It feels so premium. 
Let's go ahead and power this thing on. Is this the power button? Please. Ooh, we got juice. It's juiced up. All right, guys. So we're getting everything set up. So I'm going to breeze through everything and then we'll talk some more. All right. I got my phone ready. We'll talk some more once I get everything set up. So let's go through the process. All right, guys. So now it's telling me that we need to add our fingerprint. So if you guys didn't know, there's a fingerprint scanner on the power button. Now, this is what Apple needs to do for the iPhone 12. They already did it with the iPad, but this is dope. So we could just put in a simple pin. <clears throat> Let's say, all right, we got the pin in. Now, as you can see, it's telling us place our fingers boom fingerprint and it's v it feels very fast oh my we're almost there Whew, we're in we are in ladies and gentlemen look at that yo this is insane imagine the thumbnails Imagine the thumbnails. <laughs> I'm just playing, but the 120 hertz, man. A lot of people say, oh, you don't need one 120 hertz. But I could, I know what it feels like. I know what it looks like. It looks amazing. All phones need 120 hertz. I'm not even trolling. All right. Let's try to drag. Boom. <sighs> this is nuts. So watching everything Apple Pro. Talking about the Apple Watch, we want to find out about, about the Apple Watch. Go to apple.com. We could load up Apple on here and still watch everything Apple Pro on this side. All right, guys, so before I get ahead of myself, let's quickly talk about what I have right here and a few specs about the phone. I have the black version, as you guys can see. You could also get the Mystic Bronze that everybody loves, but you can also customize the hinges on the back of the device to a couple different colors so as you can see the hinge right here my phone is flying <laughs> now let's chill so with the hinge it has this improved flex mode as i told you guys before the hinge can stick into any position you put it it will stay there and it comes in handy for a certain different modes and features that the phone has itself also you could change the hinge color i don't know if i told you guys you could change the hinge color to gold bronze silver red or blue but then shipping for those different color hinges will take some time but if you want to personalize your hinge you could do that at checkout now next up with this thing that we do not have an sd card slot with this phone it's also not water resistant so don't try to flip your phone into the water while doing a front flip don't don't do that you can't it's not water resistant even though it costs two thousand dollars but because of all the moving parts and all of that it's kind of hard to get water resistance on this phone right here next up this is a 12 gig ram phone 4500 milliamp hours will get you throughout the day also the screen i think i told you guys before it is 120 hertz so playing games on this thing will be amazing which i will test in my full review of course so make sure you're subscribed next up let's jump into the cameras that's what a lot of people want to test out the cameras for this thing so as you can see we have all these more modes we could choose from so let's check these modes out so let's see on the back it's supposed to show let's try to get that live viewing mode boom all right so the live view mode is on so if you're taking a picture of your friend they could see what their frame shot would look like so they could know exactly how the image is taken because you know we have all those friends that try to take some flicks for the gram but they don't know how to flick the pic so now you could orchestrate how they flick the pic because you could see what the image would look like samsung 200 iq we have another camera feature i think if you start to fold it now it's like a like a viewfinder if you guys know what a viewfinder is so if we take a few pics, it will pop up right here. We could see it. We could interact with it and everything. All right. So now if you're wondering what's the cameras like, we have three, three thick boys around the back. They're all 12 megapixels. So we have 12 megapixel on the ultra wide, 12 megapixel on the wide angle, and also 12 megapixel on the telephoto. And also even more megapixels inside the front cameras so we have two front cameras we have a front camera like inside the screen so this front camera is 10 megapixels and then the front camera at the front is also 
10 megapixels so yeah these will also be tested guys so don't worry let's see if we could unlock this thing and use the whoo this feels like a sword i like a it feels like i could fight some people with this thing but the screens look amazing we have all the telus apps on here they installed bloatware on this thing how did they manage to do that that's crazy but yes guys that's my overall impressions of the galaxy fold Two. let me know what you guys think of this device to me it's insane it's crazy it's nuts we literally f this feels like I'm bro and it's not that heavy as well we could fit this inside our pockets want to see more Zolotec what's up my man full screen that's nuts but yeah let me know what you guys think of the Galaxy Z Fold 2 also, let me know what do you want me to do in the full review of this phone? What do you want to see most? I want to test out the gaming. I want to test out the camera some more. But yeah, drop all everything down below in the comments, guys. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.